Satan's true name is God. We are not supposed to be calling upon the name God, and I'm going to show you. All right, let's see it. And the fit today is Bizarro Superman. So I'm reading from the book of Enoch, which was removed from our Bibles. It would be more accurate to say that it fell out of favor with early Christians before the books of the Bible were determined. And the third was named Godriel, or shortened would be God. No, that is not how that name would be shortened, because that name comes from the Semitic language of Hebrew, and it is composed of two different words. Gader, which is a Hebrew word that refers to a type of rock wall and has a long A quality vowel in the first syllable, and El, which is the Hebrew word for God. Now, the English word that we pronounce God comes from Proto-Indo-European, and the vowel actually is based on a U quality vowel. There is absolutely no etymological relationship whatsoever between the two words, and the fact that some English speakers would pronounce the first syllable in Gadriel very similar to the way they would also pronounce the English word God is completely and utterly meaningless. It is just as meaningless as the notion that there's something significant about the fact that the Northwest Semitic storm deity Baal has a name that is pronounced similar to the way we would pronounce the noun that refers to the round thing that we hit with sticks and that we throw and that we play with. This is utterly meaningless, utterly arbitrary, and is entirely misguided. And he led astray Eve. So this is literally talking about Satan, the one who led astray Eve, right, in the garden. No, it's not, and there are two reasons we know this. The first is that the identification of the serpent in the Garden of Eden with Satan is something that had not happened yet and would not happen for centuries. It doesn't occur until after the New Testament. The second reason is that the word Satan in Hebrew, which means accuser, adversary, opponent, had not yet become a personal name. Uh, it was still being used as a title, like accuser, adversary, that could be applied to different individuals, or as a class of deity. And in First Enoch, there are four total occurrences of the word Satan, twice in the plural, as a reference to a class of deity, and twice in the singular, as the title, accuser or adversary. And we see it in First Enoch 54, 6, as a title for Azazel, who in that chapter is being treated as the head of malevolent angel. And this raises this issue that we have multiple different literary layers going on in the book of Enoch. For instance, here in chapter 69, where we have in verse 6 this reference to Gadriel, it lists the names of the malevolent angels twice. And the first list ends with the 21st angel whose name is Azazel, that's the angel who is referred to as the Satan, the Satan, the accuser in chapter 54. And then the list starts over in chapter 69 and we get down to, in verse 6, the third angel, Gadriel. Now check this out. Every time you see Baal in the scriptures, it actually is just the Hebrew word for Lord. So we're not supposed to be calling him Lord either. When we refer to God as Lord, that is referring to God as Adonai, which is that special form of the other Hebrew word for Lord. Uh, it is not a reference to Baal. It literally means Lord, which is the name they planted over the name Yahuwah 7,000 times in the scriptures. No, the substitution for the Tetragrammaton is the entirely distinct word, Adonai. In fact, it is the vowel points for Adonai that are superimposed on the Tetragrammaton where we see it vocalized in the Masoretic text. And also, that's absolutely not how the Tetragrammaton was pronounced. All right, a proper terminology would be Elohim or Elohim. It means mighty one. No, it doesn't. It just means God, deity, gods, deities, uh, or it can also be used adjectively to mean divine. We all need to study to show thyself approved, right? Go do some research and prayer. This is not research. This is just a conspiratorial mindset, confirmation bias, a profound lack of competence with research, and deep ignorance. Don't forget to like and follow. Now I'm good.